real estate titan Richard Lefrac uh, putting his money to work. He recently committed to a new 15-year project in Miami. He's also about to open a major development next month that will include a hotel and homes in South Beach. And here in New York, he's working on a new commercial tower just around the corner uh, from our new studios. Commercial tower, so, okay. Um, I need an apartment. That's pretty generic. I need, yeah, I need an apartment. It's, it's yeah, nondescript. Yeah. With, uh, with that, us that's on... That's another way to say, actually, I don't know what I'm doing yet. Yeah, that, not quite sure. <laughs> All right. With us on set uh, to give us a pulse on real estate, Richard Lefrac, president of the Lefrac uh, organization. <laughs> Richard, it's good to see you. And we're, 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 we're neighbors now. We're much closer. You can come yes, in all the time. Right. It's we're, much easier. We'll, than, see mo we'll see more you of know, you. The trip across the bridge at uh, 5.30 in the morning was not what, when that did attractive. You get, when did you get here this morning? Uh, I got here at 7.15. You've been watching Welch and listening to, to his, his yes, comments? Yes, I said, well, I, I did say, I said, well, we talked about the uh, measles. measles outbreak, ISIS <laughs> horrible behavior, brutal behavior, and now we're going to talk about rents in New York City, the rents in New York. most people <laughs> think is probably equal to the yeah, 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 equally uh, <laughs> painful. It is. Right. R rents are, are, are very high, it's sustainably high and, and headed higher probably, if Jack's right about the economy. Right? Uh, rents are high uh, and probably going up because uh, uh, we don't, just don't have enough apartments at this point. That's amazing. It's just the multifamily business especially is still underserved. And, and, we, and we've talked about domestically, this is where it's at in the globe, right? And this is the, the big major city on the most powerful country Except in the world. Except foreigners right. have a little less Flush cash. That's yes. true. They don't yes. have as the much dollars. The currency affects them the opposite way. Right. And that, that may affect some Miami, of these. Miami, maybe. Uh, and some of these super high-end condos that you yeah. see in, in New York where many of the buyers are, you know, it's foreign capital, maybe looking not so much for a home, but a home for their money. Yeah. So are you, are you in, would you be in selling mode now or, or buying mode? Uh, I'm always in developing mode which is a little different than either one of those modes because everything that we do, uh, it's kind of like a farmer. You have to plant the seed and then you have to watch it grow. So the lead time when we do these big, any project is, you know, it's years. You just don't decide on Monday you're going to build something and build it on Tuesday. Uh, so we have to really be involved with uh, long-term demographic trends and kind of really trying to foretell which markets will be, let's say, ripe in the future. And there are, my, you know, there are, you know, good old standby like New York City. That's a, that's right. always going to be good. Are the numbers and the economics the same? You know, I was going to say um, the mayor, Mayor de Blasio, is now pushing for more affordable housing. Would you be developing some of that? You know, that's a very, uh, very good goal, and it's very well needed, and it's also a very good soundbite. But it's it's easy to say and hard to do. Okay. I noticed yesterday that he uh, trotted out the Sunnyside Yards. Uh, that's a project that we actually trotted out about 40 years ago. <laughs> the only problem was there was a railroad there. Well, and right. Governor Cuomo said <clears throat> for two hours, forget it. MTA has that space. It's not happening. Right, and, they, and it's, it's strategically located property. It's underutilized, but they need it for the railroad. And there's lots of hands in it. And so when you say, hey, I'm going to do something like that, it sounds good, but the actual, you know, effectuated is really very quite uh, But do you tricky. find it harder to develop in the city now with the current mayor than the mayor before? I don't want to blame the politics. I mean, there's a shortage of land here. I mean, every community has a lot to say about... something like that? I mean, he's doing business here. Uh, it's hard. <laughs> I know. That's why I no. asked the question. Do no, I, I'm, I, I don't want to... You know, I don't want to blame the politicians. The whole environment here is very difficult to get to anything done because, you know, we have you know, uh, local community boards that have say in, you know, what you can do and how you can do it. Uh, you know, real estate is always very controversial. And, you know, if you put up a one family home in Astoria, your next door neighbor is screaming at you. So, you know, that, that's the way it is here. That's why it's so valuable. If it was easy to do, we wouldn't have this problem. But so the environment is the environment. That's South the way Beach you live. Is rip roaring, isn't it? Uh, Miami is still a very strong market today. Uh, You're excited you know, about all your stuff down there. Too. I'm excited for a short-term reason and for a long-term reason. For short-term reason, we've been building this hotel, Barry Sterling and I, for the last three years, and uh, it's really beautiful and great. And it's going to open. We hope March 13th, 
And, uh, you know, I hope you guys will all come Welch down and take a look. that you can get down there. I think. Uh, he's sure. busy up in Palm Beach playing golf. Yeah, I mean, you but know. if it's luxurious <laughs> enough, you could attract him. Uh, and, you know, if, I guess if he wants March a little. March 13th, that's a Friday. Yeah, well, that's. My anniversary. You know, yeah, that'd be a nice night You know, there. any more on Kinsella Hotel Room on a, in, the, in my, March in Miami. So we're not taking that big a risk <laughs> how much in terms of our How occupancy. much is the room is this, did you know? How much, when you say, what's the rate? Yeah. No, 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 to develop it, because I saw some are going for 1.4, 1. Uh, 1. I think this June. costs us about $600,000 $600. a key when we so got all finished. 600000 a key. And what's the overnight rate? Uh, it'll be, well, it's a seasonal the thing. Rate? And the rack rate? rate? Will, the rack rate, rate will be probably eight, nine hundred dollars. Yours would be twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. <laughs> if, if I call it, you know, call a special what, number. What should I say? No, yes, for you, a deal. The way you a leave deal. the room, I mean, guns and roses, it, it, it leaves a cleaner I leave a big tip. Yeah, no, I leave you know, a big tip. You know, Miami's still a very strong hotel market right now. We've kind of put a lot of TLC in this property, so right. we're, we're anxious to expose it now to, uh, to, to the public, and we think it'll be a big success. Richard, thank you. The one and only we'll Richard see you again Frack. soon. I hope so. I'm calling that, I'm calling that special number. I'll pay extra to stay there. Okay. Jack, it's always good to see you. Coming up when we return.